Welcome to the channel. I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a trigger order on the BitGet exchange, whether you're going long or going short. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and hit subscribe. I have plenty more BitGet tutorials on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check those out as well. Let's get into it. You can set up trigger market orders as well as trigger limit orders on BitGet. First of all, I'll show you how to set up a trigger limit order, and then I'll show you how to set up a trigger market order. So before we begin, let's mark out some areas on this chart. So I'll grab a horizontal here from the drawing tools. Let's go ahead and put one on the chart right here. And let's go ahead and just call this support for the purposes of this demonstration. We see a couple candle bodies coming into contact with that level there. See some wick stabbing it there. And then Bitcoin plays out its little bear market rally moving to the upside. Then it rolls over in this area here. So let's go ahead and mark this out and call that resistance for this demonstration. So I'll do something like this. Maybe we'll just pull that down just slightly, maybe somewhere in there. Good enough for this demonstration. Now let's imagine that we're simply observing Bitcoin moving sideways within this range. And we're thinking to ourselves, you know what? Maybe this range is going to break sometime soon. And it would be nice to catch the breakout of this range. We don't really care if it breaks to the downside or to the upside. It would just be nice to try to get in position for the breakout. But we don't feel comfortable shorting into support and we don't feel comfortable longing into resistance. So perhaps we want to try setting up a trigger limit order in an attempt to catch the breakout of this range. So the first thing we need to do is we need to establish a price point that we wish to place a trigger at. So let's go ahead and just zoom in a little bit here and let's just imagine that we want to use the top of this wick right here as our trigger price. So let's go ahead and mark that the horizontal, something like this. Now we can see on the Y axis of the chart that, that wick has a price point correlated to it coming in at 25,207. So let's come over here to the order panel, make sure we're set to trigger and let's type that into trigger price, 25,207. Now we need to choose a price point for BitGet to place a limit order onto the order book for us. So maybe we're looking at the former resistance here. We're thinking to ourselves, you know what? Price action breaks through resistance. Perhaps it's gonna come down and back test it as future support before price has continuation to the upside. So maybe that's where we wanna to attempt to place our limit order at. So we come over here to execute price and we type that level in. So 24,519. Now we need to choose an amount to put into the position. I'll just go ahead and just leave it on that and we'd click on buy long. Then we'll get a little pop-up window where we can confirm the details of our trigger order. We can see our trigger price right here at 25,207. If price action reaches that level, BitGet's going to place an order onto the order book at 24,519. If that all checks out correctly, you'd click on confirm. Now we've placed that trigger order. If price action gets up here, hits our trigger price, an order will be placed down here on former resistance. So we'll need price action to get up, hit our trigger, back test the former resistance and confirm it as future support. Then we're looking for continuation to the upside. So a couple ways that could potentially go wrong is if price action gets up there and just simply melts straight on through. Of course, our order will be placed, but never filled. Or if price action gets up there, hits our trigger level, comes down, fills our order, but then just continues back inside the range, that would put us at a drawdown. So a couple considerations when entertaining that trade idea. Now let's go ahead and cover the bottom side of the range. I'll zoom in a little bit drag things over and let's just imagine that we want to use this wick right here as our trigger price. So we'll go ahead and just quickly mark that the horizontal something like this. That way we can see the price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 17,886. So we'll come back over here to the order panel and let's type that into trigger price 17,886. Now we need to choose our execution price and let's go ahead and just set the former support as our order price. So 18,914. So we'd go 18,914 and let's just go ahead and do the same amount. So we'll do that and this time we'll click on sell short, confirm the details of the order and then click on confirm. Now we've set a trigger order to the downside. If price action gets down to our trigger price and hits it, an order will be placed on the order book at 18,914. So we'll need price action to come back, back test the former support, confirming it as resistance and then we're looking for the move to the downside. And same thing here. I mean, if price action just melts through this level, of course the order will be placed, but not filled. Or if price action gets down, comes back, fills our order, and then re-enters the range, it's going to put us at a loss. So a couple obvious considerations when choosing this trade idea. If we want to cancel these orders, we just click the little X inside these boxes like so. And as you can see, I just canceled both those trigger orders. 
Now I'll show you how to place a trigger market order. And let's just go ahead and use the same scenario. But this time, let's imagine that we're thinking, you know what? Price action manages to get back up to this level here. Maybe it's most probable that it's just going to melt through there and continue to the upside. And same with the downside. I mean, if, if support breaks, maybe we're thinking, you know what? It's just going to be a trap door and things are just going to waterfall to the downside. So maybe we want to consider a trigger market order. So we'll come over here to the order panel and let's just use the same trigger prices for this demonstration. So we'll go 25,207 for the top of the range. And then we're going to come here to execute price and we'll come over here and click on market order. Now this trigger order will execute at the best available price. If price action reaches our trigger, BitGet's going to fill us a market order at the best available price in this area here. And then we'll be looking for immediate continuation to the upside. So we'll come down here and we'll put in the amount. I'll just do the same thing as before. We click on buy long, confirm the details. Now we've put that trigger market order at the top side of the range. Let's go ahead and cover the bottom side using the same trigger price. We'll come over here and we'll type in 17,886. So the same trigger price we used for our downside scenario in the first demonstration. Make sure this is set to market. Now we'll put in the same amount of BTC. Click on sell short, confirm. Now we've placed a trigger market order to the downside. If price action just begins to melt to the downside, we'll be filled in this area here at the best available price from the order book, and we'll be catching the trade as it rips to the downside. Of course, if price gets down there, hits it and fills us, and then moves back to the upside, we'll be at an immediate loss. Essentially, you are running a bit of a risk that you're shorting into support and longing into resistance. But you wanna make sure that you're on the right side of probability. You definitely don't want these orders to fill and then retrace into the range immediately, putting you at a loss. So a couple considerations when using that trade idea. These kinds of ideas work fairly well with pennant formations or ascending and descending triangles. They can be useful, but of course, do your own technical analysis. Use your own level of creativity when deciding if trigger orders are the right trade idea for you. But this is how you get it done. If I want to cancel these, I'll just click these little X's like so. And as you can see, I've removed both those trigger orders. And there you have it. That's how you set up trigger orders on the BitGet Exchange. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out some of my other BitGet tutorials. Thanks so much for popping by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.